from Midland, Odessa and Big Spring. This is ABC Big 2 News at 10. Now at 10, a close call on a local road. Tonight, one man is warning other dr drivers about a startling experience. Now he says he was just trying to be a good Samaritan by stopping to help a stranded driver in Midland County. ABC Big 2's Rob Tuke joins us live along I-20 tonight. And Rob, as soon as he pulled over to help, that's when things got scary. Well, that's right, Madeline and Carson. This good Samaritan said he thought he was doing the right thing. He pulled over onto the shoulder of the road when a, another driver flagged him down. Turns out that driver wasn't looking for help. Before Matthew Imhol could even step out of his truck, the man he wanted to help was trying to get inside of his truck. He ran up. I didn't even see him running up because it was so quick. He opened the door and he was doing this number and he saw me sitting in the passenger seat. I said what I said to him, right? I had my, I had a Bowie knife on my lap because I had to have some kind of protection. Matthew said around 3 Monday afternoon, he was coming off of Loop 250 to get onto I-20. Right before he got onto I-20, Matthew said he saw a person wave him down. So he did what any good Samaritan would do. Matthew pulled over to offer his assistance. And Matthew said he never expected what would happen next. I opened up my passenger side door and was going to get in it. If it wasn't for me telling that person, what are you doing this is not what you do the brazen encounter was too close for comfort seeing the man jump into his truck matthew was startled if it wasn't for the bowie knife he carries around matthew said he believes he would have been the victim of a crime they are about five foot seven uh, hispanic male with a light color blue shirt very well put together very presentable with a gold chain asking for help out of a white ford expedition the expedition had a turquoise new mexico plate Matthew said he filed a police report, but he said officers told him no crime was actually committed. So Matthew said he's sharing his scary encounter to warn other drivers to be extra cautious. This is not normal behavior and it's not normal. I do not want anybody to think that this is normal behavior for somebody to try to run up to the opposite side of someone's car because I could have been looking on my passenger side and someone could have been coming up on my driver's side and take me out or put gun to my side and then they could have took off with my money, with my car, everything. And Matthew said he doesn't want this experience to stop him from being kind. He's urging other drivers to be extra cautious and to not let their kindness be exploited if they want to offer a helping hand. If they ever have any doubt, just call police. Reporting live along I-20, Rob Tuke, ABC Big 2 News.